Hey everyone, I hope you are all safe and healthy with your family and friends. This video we are going to learn about 11th standard accountancy chapter 10 depreciation accounting exercise sum number 14. A firm acquired a machine on 1st April 2015 at the cost of Rs 50,000. Its a life is 6 years. The term rights of depreciation at 30% per annum on the diminishing balance method. The firm closes its books on 31st December every year. Show the machinery account and depreciation account for the 3 years starting from 1st April 2015. What they given? So we have to know at the date of purchasing asset that is 1st April 2015. Okay. So life is 6 year, useful life is 6 year, return down method. 30% discount closing accounting period for every year so what we have to do we have to find we have to post machinery account in ledger account and depreciation account ok let's prepare the machinery account in the ledger account ok you know very well the format of the ledger account that is the format is divided into two types the ledger account is divided into two types that is data side and credit side data side have four, four columns and credit side also have four columns date particulars amount jf okay date particulars jf and amount okay so first a company purchased machinery dated on 1st April 2015 what the general entry machinery account data to bank account where is machinery account machinery account is on debit side so you go to debit side you have to enter the opposite account here that is to bank account 50,000 rupees entered okay so what's the closing accounting period 31st December 2015 so you have to prepare provide the depreciation at the end of the every year okay so by depreciation account what's the general entry for the depreciation account depreciation account data to machinery account where is machinery account machinery account is on the credit side so you go to credit side you have to enter the opposite account that is by depreciation account 11,250 how, how will you get 11,250 listen so for that you have to take 50,000 original cost into 3% discount into 6 by 12. How do you get 6 by 6 months? Listen, when you purchase machinery, 1st April, okay. So from 1st April up to clo closing accounting period that is 2015 December 31 so you have to calculate from the 1st April April May June July August September October November and December how many months we have to use the asset 9 months okay so so from 9 months out of 12 now we have to cancel it everyone okay So now we have to cancel it, okay? So 1, 3 is 3, 4, 3 is 12. This 2, 0 is to be cancelled here, okay? So 2, 2 is 4. Here, how much? 12, 4 is 48. Remaining 2. So it's converted into 20 and 5 fourths are 20. Okay. So what we have 125 into 9, right? 9 fives are 45. Remaining 4. 2 nines are 18. Plus 4, 22. Remaining 2. 1 9 is 9, 10, 11. So 11,000. So 11,250, this is the first year depreciation value, okay. So first, is, first year depreciation value is 11,250. 
so which side is higher value which side has the higher value debit side has the higher value so we have to enter that 50000 as the total on both side okay both debit and credit side we have to write the higher value amount as a total we entered now we have to find out the differences so for that we have to subtract 11250 from the total value 50000 we will get 38750 this is the closing balance of the missionary account by balance carried on okay you you have to enter the same date so same period here okay then you have to convert it you have to brought it that third brought that 38750 brought down to the opposite side and enter that 38750 below the total against this you have to write two balance brought down this is the opening balance of the missionary account for the next accounting period how do we say listen you have to enter here what's the closing accounting period for the depreciation account 31st december 2015 right so what's the next day from here that is 2016 january 1 so this is the next accounting period for the missionary account opening balance of the missionary account 38750 the next depreciation period is 31st december 2016 so every year close at the end of the every year only you have to prepare the depreciation account okay so you have to provide the depreciation account at the end of the every year okay so you have to enter here 31st december 2016 by depreciation account how do we get 11625 Listen. After subtract eleven thousand two fifty from the origin value fifty thousand, you will get thirty eight thousand seven fifty, right? So you have to follow the diminishing method, that is, return value method. So for that, from after subtracting the depreciation value, you get some value that is thirty eight thousand seven fifty here. From this amount only, you have to find the second year depreciation. So how? So You have to enter thirty-eight thousand seven fifty into three by hundred. You have to add zero here. Zero zero cancel. Zero zero cancel. Remaining three thousand eight seventy-five into three. Okay. So three fives are fifteen. Remaining one. Three sevens are twenty-one plus one twenty-two. Remaining two. Three eights are twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Remaining two. Three three are nine plus two, eleven. So this is the second year depreciation value. Okay. So you have to enter here second year depreciation value. Okay. So which side has the higher value? Debit side has the higher value. So you have to enter thirty eight thousand seven fifty as the total on both side. Okay. Now on lesser side we have the we have to find the difference so for that you have to subtract 11625 from the total rupees 38750 you will get 28125 so this is the closing balance of the accounting closing balance of the missionary account by balance carried on you have to enter against this value okay you have to enter the same date on here okay then you have to brought down that value twenty eight thousand twenty seven thousand one twenty five to the opposite side below the total we entered here okay then against this you have to write to balance brought up this is the opening balance of the missionary account and you have to enter the dated on two thousand seventeen January one because the closing previous year closing balance is closing Period is 2016 December 31. What is the next day from here? From this date, that is 2017 January 1. This is the next accounting period for the opening balance of the missionary account. The amount is 28 27,125. Then we have to find the 
third year depreciation account we have to post third year depreciation account okay dated on 31st december 2017 we have to provide the depreciation value at the end of the every year okay so the amount is 8138 how can you get it so you have to ca calculate here third year depreciation 3 fives are 15 remaining 1 3 2 sir 6 plus 1 7 1 3 is 3 3 7 sir 21 remaining 2 Three twos are six, seven, eight, right? So for this two zero, you have to put a point after two digit. Okay, listen. So we have to convert that seven into eight to round this value. So we will get eight thousand one hundred and thirty-eight rupees. This is the third year depreciation value okay so we have entered here the third year depreciation value then we have to find which side has the higher value debit side has the higher value that is 27125 we have to enter that 27125 as the total consider as the total on both side so always higher value as the total on both debit and credit side in the ledger account okay so we enter here entered then we have to find the difference between them so for that you have to subtract 8138 from 27125 you will get 18987 so this is the closing balance of the machinery account you have to write by balance carry down against this value okay you have to enter the same date on here then you have to brought that value brought that value down to the opposite side and enter it below the total enter that amount 18987 below the total against this you have to write two balance brought up then you have to enter the dated on 28 2018 January 1 this is the next account next day from the closing balance date okay so this is the next accounting period for the opening balance of the machinery account is 18987 so we completed machinery account we posted machinery account on ledger account okay now we were going to post a depreciation account on ledger account we already prepared the format of the ledger account so what's the journal entry for the depreciation account depreciation account data to machinery account okay when you provide the depreciation account the journal entry is depreciation account data to machinery account depreciation account is on debit side so you go to debit side you have to enter the opposite account here to machinery account amount is 11250 rupees dated on at every year at the end of the year okay end of the date you have to enter here they have given their 31st december 2015 we entered here okay the transfer entry is by profit and loss account 11250 so we have total it we have to total it first year depreciation account completed then come for second year depreciation dated on 31st december 2016 to machinery account 11625 the transfer entry is the same date you have to enter here 31st december 2016 31st december 2016 by profit and loss account 11625 same amount you have to enter here you have to total it the same amount on both debit and credit side then the third year depreciation account is 2017 december 31 you know the what's the journal entry for the depreciation account depreciation account data to machinery account where is depreciation account it is on debit side so you go to debit side you have to enter the opposite account here to machinery account 
8138 we already find it here listen 8138 so you have to enter that amount here and the transfer entry is the same date by profit and loss account the same amount you have to enter here 8138 then we have to total it on both side both side we have the same amount as the total 8138 8138 so we have posted 3 years first 3 years depreciation account and first 3 years machinery account we posted into the ledger account do you have any doubt please comment it on the comment box thank you take care